Each of the three 50 amp MBPT boxes is dedicated to one solar panel. And each MPPT box can be monitored through Bluetooth so that you can monitor the power level of each panel attached to the MPPT. And we oversized them so that they should never overheat. And we added two extra MPPT channels, uh, 20 amps per box, which were routed to MC4 cables on both the starboard and the port side of the boat, one each. This gives us the option to add more PV panels in the future. We could put flexible panels on top of the bimini and sew them inside, or we could maybe even put some hard panels underneath the existing panels on the arch facing down to capture any sunlight reflected off the water. We also have an MPPT box for a Watton C hydro generator. We can use it when we're on long passages on the back of the boat. Here the hydro generator bracket is temporarily being used for our passerelle, but this bracket can be put into any one of the three slots on the transom. We put a 12-volt uh, outlet on the transom so that we could charge the batteries for the uh, outboard motor. We also installed a smart plug uh, outlet so we can plug in shore power without worrying about the cable wobbling loose. We also installed a shunt to measure the combined PV current. Overall, the entire energy system uh, worked a little bit better than anticipated. Uh, we have never seen the battery state of charge drop down below 75%, uh, which is pretty healthy, even on stormy days. Uh, so we think the sizing is good uh, generally speaking. <laughs>